Here's the code, 7425765. Thanks, man. Now let's get to decoding that. How do we decode this? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, and today we are continuing our series on how to build a computer in Minecraft using hexadecimal. We covered how to build hex wires in episode 1, how to remember things in episode 2, and how to calculate with ALUs in episode 3. Today we're going to wrap up our series by making a decoder to control all of the components. Hey guys, Editing Caleb here. I have an announcement to make after this video, so make sure to stick around to find out. Also, if there's a red button right down here, then it's a switch that is preventing you from getting notified whenever I make a new video. So make sure you turn that off by pressing it and making it gray. Anyways, on with the video. Decoders are useful when it comes to building a computer because they remove the need to control each component by hand. So for our computer, which has eight functions, instead of having eight individual wires to control the computer, we will just have one. How a decoder works is it takes whatever architecture you are using, so it's either binary or hexadecimal, and converts that signal into decimal, which is individual lines per value. There are a lot of videos on how to make a decoder for binary, so for this video I will just be covering hexadecimal. And for the decoder I will be using, I'm just going to walk over to Crafty Masterman's channel and use a design from one of his videos. This is a red coder. A red coder is simply another way of just saying it's a hex decoder. If you're active members of this channel, then this design should look very familiar to you. I've used this design in the RPC1 and RPC2, and will most likely be using this in my newer PCs. Let's get on to building one build a decoder, you're going to need four simple ingredients. You're going to need blocks, you're going to need redstone dust, you're going to need repeaters, and you're going to need torches. So let's start by building a line of redstone. This line will vary depending on how many functions you have with the maximum width being 15, which is the highest number that hex can give. So we're going to ahead and build that by placing redstone and then completely placing it down 14 more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we'll come over here and place repeaters all in front of these um, pieces of dust. Then we will place blocks in front of these. And then we'll place torches on top of each of these blocks. Now we will place a block here and then cover all of this circuitry with blocks. So we'll place a block like this and then place it until it reaches the end of the line. Then we'll come over and build this in. And then we'll come along and place a block on top of the torch and fill it through the line as well. Now we'll come up and place repeaters like this. and then run a string of redstone dust all along the back side, come up to the front, and then place a torch either on the side or the top. It doesn't matter which, it's just for, it's just, um, for which one you prefer. Once you have that built, we're gonna come back to these repeaters and set each of them to two tick. Now in Crafty's video, it just shows them as one tick, but at least for Bedrock, you have to have them set to two tick, otherwise it will glitch out like it does in the RPC-1. Now comes the fun part, connecting all of our control gates from this computer over to this decoder. I'm going to do a time lapse for this, showing me creating the lines. You don't have to slow this down, just make a mental note that the torches need to be placed on the sides of the blocks and not just left sitting on the ground.
Okay, so once you have the rough redstone dust skeleton, we're going to come along here and then just place some extra blocks in front of each of the lines. And then place a torch to test and see how far the redstone dust goes and then add repeaters and stuff from there. So what I have done is create lines from each of our control gates to the decoder and have done my best to make them look neat. Obviously, this isn't the neatest you can do, and I'm sure some of you can do this way better than I can. If you can't, that's completely acceptable. This is a learning process, and you can always go back and tidy this up. Since this computer only has eight functions, we only need eight segments. But just for the sake of this series, I'll be using all 15, just so that... Um, just to allow the least confusion when it comes to connecting. So I'm going to break all of these torches. And then I will finish up by connecting each of these lines to the decoder. So we'll begin by placing this one right here. And then running a string of redstone dust like so, and then placing a repeater. You know what, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and place repeaters right here. Then let's come to the second one and move this down to right here. And then fill this with dust and do the same for all of these lines. Now we have it connected, let's use this redstone line right here just to make sure that everything works. So I'm going to test all the functions just to make sure that all the numbers are working properly. And I'm not going to test like everything possible because that's, again, almost impossible. So let's just go and make sure that first of all, all of our registers are wiped. So for example, this one's still on and this one's still on. So now that all the computer is turned off, let's go over to here and give this an input of one. And let's come over here and set register one. So now if all goes well, as you can see right here, the first register has been set. So that works properly. Then let's come back over here and let's adjust it to say three. Then we'll come over here and set register two as you can see register two is set and now let's go right over here and add register one and register two so as you can see the output register now has its own signal strength and if we grab some redstone lamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Run redstone dust all along it. You can see we have a signal strength of three. Four, which is one plus three. And now let's go over here and wipe register three. So now as you can see, there's no output over there. And let's go over to here and let's not register one. So since register one is at the signal strength of one, then the not should be 14 as it is shown right here. So voila, our computer is now operational. 
and you have successfully built a working redstone computer using hexadecimal. Now I'd recommend that you copy either this build or this world before trying to make improvements just so that in the likely event that the experimental computer isn't operational, speaking from personal experience here, then you will have a working design. An easy way to copy designs is by using the structure block. If you're in survival, then this won't work. How you obtain the structure block is you type slash give at self structure block. And then a structure block will be placed in your inventory and then place it down at a corner. When you place it down, it will show the bounding box. So for this instance, we're gonna come over here and place it at this corner. It really depends on which way this box is facing. And you can come in here and mess with the design, the parameters. Uh, so I'm really going to just blow up and make these completely unproportionate. And then we will enter the name of our unit right here. So for this instance, I'm going to call this hex PC. You can rename it whatever you want it to. Then you can click save. Then we'll come over to an open area. Place it down and then go to save and go to load mode. Enter your name, which in this case it's hex PC and then click load and your entire computer has been copied. And that is how you build a hex decoder in Minecraft and how to connect a decoder to a redstone PC. I'd recommend that after you build your computer to go back and figure out how to compact it. I can already see some areas that need improvement and I have no doubt that you can see that too. Keep on compacting and who knows, you might be the next person to beat my record and have the smallest computer in Minecraft. Anyways, Hey guys, Editing Caleb back for the announcement. I want y'all to post your questions for hex PCs in the comments below because I'll be doing a Q&A video. So make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below or on my Discord server under hashtag redstone-help. I will read them and then answer some of them in the Q&A. Now let's rewind and continue on with the video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I will be leaving this as a world download. The link to that will be in the description. If you enjoy content like this, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. According to YouTube statistics, you've already heard this, so I'm not going to waste your time. All I'm going to say is that we're on the road to 1 million subscribers, and we have about 1 million subscribers left to go. So make sure to subscribe. It's free, and you don't want to miss out on my next videos. Make sure to join my Discord server to hang out, ask questions, and showcase your brand new Redstone computer. I'd love to see that. The link to that will also be in the description. Also, I now have an Instagram and Twitch account, so make sure to follow them. Those links, basically just every link, will be in the description. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.